Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to apply an interactive job in your university's compute cluster. Basically, you can use um, this interactive job to debug your code before you are submitting your final works. So, for example, now I'm, I am logged in into my university's um, com compute cluster, but this is only a um, login node. So I need to apply a interactive job application and then to use the computing node to do, com to do computation. Um, so there are some software that is to manage that is used to manage the um, computing cluster. Um, there are different versions of that, and uh, our university is currently is using something called Slurm. Um, so different softwares has different um, command, but basically they are very similar. For example. Um, in Slurm, I can use as info function um, to get the information of all the current available com computing uh, compute nodes. So, for example, in the partition called subpartng, for example, um, there are several um, things that you can get from this result. For example, some of the compute node is, is down and some of them are allocated for someone else and then now you can use this one with an idle that means um, they are available for your use and as you can see here there are um, 46 nodes that are uh, available for you to apply and similar for other compute node and some of the compute node are public but some of the compute node may be purchased by the professors so we cannot use them so now let us uh, apply a compute node for uh, some for debugging um, the basic function that we need to use is uh, as alloc so for example uh, as we can see from the previous list that subpart 10g is uh, has some available node and we use as alloc function and this dash n means um, we apply for one node and the equal exclusive means um, we will use um, so all this uh, all the node that you apply is equal is is um, exclusively for you. So now we can use another function called sq um, with, with a dash u argument and with your um, user ID. Uh, now you can see that we have already applied for a job. Um, with this job ID and then we have used it for several seconds and this is the very important thing that the node that we apply is called compute-0-009 which is the name of the compute node so we need to log in into this compute node to do computation um, but not in current directory for the log login node so how can we do that we can do that um, by using ssh and then follows just with the name of the compute node and then press enter so after this command is done then we we, we will be successfully logging into the compute node Let's see. Okay, so for here, as you can see, uh, we are at the compute node here, and all the file system is the same. Um, for example, we can get the 
same uh, file system as before, but, but uh, now we are in the compute node. Okay. Um, so, so here we can just open some software like, like R, and then we can do whatever computation that we want. Um, so this is typically uh, the the way that we use a uh, university's cluster to do computation, and I, I guess it is maybe similar for you if you are in your, in your company's uh, computing cluster. All right, but but currently you can only use um, command line interface uh, here. So in the later videos, I will show you how to use GUIs here. Um, basically, I will show you how to use um, IPython notebook um, to hosting remotely and connect with your own browser. Thank you very much.